So I've gotten this question a lot. What's it like managing a lab or being a lab technician? And I decided today was a perfect day to film um, because also because no one is here. I'm 28. Um, I work in a research and development firm. Um, it's a microbiology based lab. I help um, pretty much with everything. DNA typing, quality control, environmental studies, um, PCRs, culture preserving, all of that. So I kind of want to just show you what the lab life is like. Or I guess like a day in the life of me and being a lab manager. Yeah, so let's do it. Okay, so I can't show you everything in the lab because I don't even want to say top secret, but we can't let our secrets get out. But um, I will show you around to a couple of things that I do here and yeah. I'm actually so exhausted this morning. I'm actually gonna get a coffee. I really can't function without it. It's terrible to say, but it's necessary, so. So usually once I arrive at work, I take a moment to drink my coffee. Then I normally open up my emails, check those, see what was done yesterday by the other lab technicians and set them up for the day. And then I usually hit the phones and I talk to upper management to see what other jobs are down the line, upcoming and what needs to be done that day, if anything. Don't really wear anything too special. Um, we do get dirty here, so I just wear some beat up jeans and just a plain shirt. I just wear clothes that I'm not afraid of just destroying. Uh, so yeah, and yes, we do have white coats. We're not walking around with white coats all the time, but in some other labs you do. Here in the lab we wear coats for safety measures and anyone can wear the white coat interns or technicians that we have here in the lab this isn't a ranking system if you have a white coat on um, it's purely for safety measures so normally i have my team here um, it's a mixture of high school and college kids here um, but this is their first week pretty much completely off they're getting ready to go back to college so but normally I train the new technicians um, pretty much all day um, teaching them new techniques um, skill sets um, and then they also help me manage the daily operations of the lab um, so usually it's a lot louder in here it's very quiet now Of course, nothing is possible without my team. This last year and a half, I've been lucky to have the team that I have um, and the people that we've had had and come and go. None of this work would have gotten done if I didn't have them. Honestly, it just does not stop, honestly, it really doesn't. This is our culture room. All of them have to be logged in and out, uh, just in case one is really, really good that we can make product from. Uh, so it's annoying. Some of the billions that we have, we actually send them to different places in our company here, so. So many, so many plates. Uh, see, woo, so many plates. So we make a ton of different types of agar here. That's what we put our cultures on to grow. And just to give you an idea, so much agar so much like 
this isn't even at its fullest. See, like this whole thing is usually covered. We actually make them in these glass bottles. It's, we order agar, um, depending on your recipe. Sometimes all you have to do is just add water and that's what we do. So it's really simple. Then you just have to pour them. So right now I actually have to go evaluate some DNA, but I actually have to prepare the PCR for it. Ooh, oh my goodness, sorry. So a part of my job is I have to extract DNA from mushrooms. Yes, mushrooms have DNA. So, and then we study it. So this is pretty much the situation. We have to run gels and evaluate DNA on all of these. And that's all prepped and done. I have to run the DNA in our thermocycler. Oops, sorry. Sorry, my hair is looking really wet. Uh, we're just gonna replicate the DNA once it starts. Come on. So, yep. It just reminds me of like what chemicals I used, what I did in a day, uh, so I can flip back and remind myself what happened because we change everything all the time when it comes to um, recipes and different ingredients, or I like to say ingredients, like chemicals and um, procedures that we do. That's the word I was looking for, procedures. So it's just kind of like my own reference to go back to. So another thing I have to do is check on crops for our mushrooms. So we test and we try out our different mushroom strains here. Sorry, it's kind of hot in here. Oh my God. This is a better example. So pretty much we just have to study their growth patterns. See how they're doing. Little mushroom. Very, very cute. So sometimes I have to do microscope work. So I'm going to do that right now, actually. I need to check all of these to see if, ooh, okay. All of these are in the correct spot. If they're not solidifying, if they have the correct pH, all of that. So usually, like, I don't know, once a month I'll check the pHs on all of this. Normally at the end of my day, I lock up, check the gas lines, just make sure uh, safety measures are, you know, put in place. Um, lock up and then go on home. I just like to see that everything's like hooked up and all the gas lines are off. 
and everything's in proper order. Yeah, those can detach. Yeah, fine. Freedom. Oh, you kind of lose the time of day in here because we don't have any windows outside from the main lab, so. I think one of the best things about being a manager is that you can make your own schedule. I mean, maybe not totally, but I have to be here every day, but still, when my jobs are done and everyone's set up, um, I can go, but I have to just make sure all of the responsibilities of the lab are taken care of. I really do like being a manager. Um, it's a lot of fun and it's stressful in some ways. I really enjoy teaching, managing projects, working on new projects. Okay guys, if you liked the video, I know it was a very general day, but we do a lot more than that. So if you wanna see more, I'm happy to film more. Um, please let me know below if you have any questions, if you're a lab manager yourself and what you love about it. Um, so yeah.